Hi everybody, this is Dino Chris reporting to you for Prehistoric Facts. This is the first ever episode of Prehistoric Facts and that basically let's just uh, start at answer some questions here, shall we? All right, first question is from John from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. What was the first ever known dinosaur? Well, if you're actually talking about the first uh, dinosaur discovered, then you're actually talking about Eoraptor, this guy right here. Uh, I guess I can put them up here. Yeah, right here. This is Eoraptor. This is the skull of Eoraptor, and you can tell that, that this is a predator. And uh, this guy probably had been basically this guy actually was actually in the time frame of 230 million years. So basically, he's pretty much a primitive dinosaur, and you can tell by the teeth on the skull right here. Uh, this is a he is a predator so basically he actually feeds on insects small reptiles and uh, some small mammal like reptiles so basically that's what uh, Eoraptor is and he's not a raptor basically he's not the raptor what we think of raptors like a uh, Velociraptor uh, Utah Raptor and Deinonychus so uh, uh, Eoraptor is basically the first uh, known at first uh, is basically the first dinosaur but to but he has the oldest dinosaur but if you're actually talking about like uh, like basically uh, discovered or uh, which dinosaur is really well known but um, but you basically uh, just uh, verif verify for me just send me an email and I'll try to answer it uh, a lot better uh, this time all right uh, <clears throat> Jill from Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is my Aunt Jill here, so hopefully she does not give me a hard time when I answer this question. All right. Hi, Chris. Which dinosaur was for, was the first to be discovered? That would be Iguanodon. Iguanodon is actually the first dinosaur discovered. And basically, Iguanodon um, <clears throat> was discovered at a time when uh, dinosaur fossils actually were just coming into being, basically. Because basically... In the mid eighteen mid eighteen hundreds, there was basically uh, not a lot was known about the Earth and how old the Earth was, and also um, a lot about what a past life was. Because basically, it was all about uh, all about um, the basically the religious beliefs and also the um, the uh, the idea. The ideas of uh, what the fossils actually represented were basically they thought like uh, these were animals that actually lit they actually lived in a time where they actually just didn't know a lot about and basically iguana that was the first one discovered but it was actually uh, basically a, a man by the man of the name uh, Sir Richard Owen who actually uh, uh, named the genus dinosaur, who actually um, basically gave um, Iguanodon a bit of an gave Iguanodon some um, some uh, some credibility is basically basic is uh, to showing it just by showing what the animal might have looked like. But his colleagues actually thought like uh, dinosaurs were just big old lizards, you know. But in uh, that's basically. Uh, oh, that was a problem back then is that they didn't know a lot they didn't know a lot what was that they didn't know a lot about uh, ancient animals of the past earth they just basically just uh, were, they were just living in the now they were just basically just uh, uh, viewing on religious beliefs and basically science was kind of was kind of was kind of small at that time so hopefully that answers your question so basically one of them was the first dinosaur discovered so hopefully that actually answers your question. All right, Dottie from Maple Grove, Minnesota. Dino Chris, where are the oldest dinosaur dinosaurs found in Minnesota? Well, Minnesota is very rare, and it, basically dinosaur fossils are actually rare in uh, Minnesota, and basically in the Midwest, the whole Midwest. And basically, it's because basically if you look at the states like a part of like a eastern Minnesota, Iowa. Uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, some parts of Indiana, it, it's very obscure in uh, dinosaur fossils because 
the some of the rocks just don't match up to the dinosaur age because basically the dinosaurs actually lived in an era called the Mesozoic era which basically is the Triassic Jurassic and the Cretaceous periods and uh, basically um, what happened was is basically um, some of the rocks that actually they actually were from the Mesozoic era probably uh, that were around those kinds of states were either just uh, eroded away by wind and water and uh, some and basically uh, throughout time and probably the glaciers also had a big impact on it too because the glaciers actually grounded up uh, some of the uh, upper layers of rock that actually were basically in its path and the glaciers actually and during that basically like a hundred thousand years ago actually just uh, grounded up all the rocks and basically in Wisconsin we were pro because right here where I live in Wausau we were would have we would have probably been uh, uh, buried under like two to three miles of ice so basically the glaciers were very thick at that point and, uh, and as you can tell right now the glaciers are actually receding rapidly and uh, and it's basically climate change actually just has that effect but to your now but to uh, dinosaur fossils in Minnesota uh, basically they had there's it's basically a hadrosaur fragment uh, uh, fragments of uh, hadrosaur bones they don't know what kind of species it is though they just think it just uh, wound up dead in that kind of area and just got buried but but um, basically Dinosaur fossils are just rare in Minnesota, very, very rare. So, but I, but dinosaurs probably did live in the Midwest. So probably they actually, the, the basically the fossils were just probably eroded away or always grounded up by the by the glaciers. That's all I can say about that. So um, hopefully, hopefully uh, that actually can uh, solve uh, this problem here. But hope, but hopefully if they actually found a, a nearly complete skeleton, uh, hopefully. They can actually solve the mystery. The scientists can solve the mystery. All right, <clears throat> Rini from Embarrass, Wisconsin. This is my grandmother here. Don't give me a hard time. <laughs> Just kidding. You never give me a hard time. <clears throat> what dinosaurs and or prehistoric creatures have been discovered to have existed in Wisconsin? Well, like I said in uh, Dottie's question, dino the dinosaur fossils are actually were dinosaur fossils in Wisconsin were probably just eroded away or grounded up by the glaciers um, ba ba but basically the prehistoric creatures that are found in Wisconsin are like uh, the marine life from uh, the Cambrian period and the Ordovician period and those are actually uh, basically the animals actually were there are actually invertebrates were basically invertebrates like trilobites uh, brachiopods and um, <clears throat> some uh, nautiloids basically those are um, uh, squid that actually have like cones on their heads that are related to squid and octopus but uh, they're just basically uh, squid with uh, shells on their heads and, um, and there there's two different kinds of nautiloids there's straight cone there's straight and there's coiled so basically there, there's one with a straight shell and there's one with a coiled shell so basically uh, it's basically the, those kinds of fossils, and the, they're the oldest fossils uh, right now. Basically, in Wisconsin, they're probably about 500 to uh, 450 million years ago. So, um, but also uh, we find we actually have uh, Ice Age mammals like uh, mastodons, mammoths, um, some uh, <coughs> uh, frag fragmentary evidence of uh, some uh, ancient man basically like uh, the Clovis people who actually had they actually are named for the uh, the point on the air the point on the spears because it's made out of a uh, chilt but um, <clears throat> but probably also some uh, massive bears like the short-faced bear and a big massive bear uh, six feet tall on the shoulder but when it raise it raise it raise its body up he's 12 feet high so basically that's a massive bear so probably don't want to come across uh, a bear that size uh, at that time but uh, if that answers your question it's basically uh, the Cambrian and Ordovician uh, marine uh, life and also and also some Ice Age ma Ice Age mammals all right <clears throat> Gina South from South 
St. Paul, Minnesota. Which is the oldest dinosaur? Well, like on the first, like on the first question, and basically John has to interpret for me. Uh, it's uh, Eoraptor. Uh, Eoraptor is, uh, if you can tell by the, if you tell by the skull, he's got a very large. Uh, if I can put my finger here, uh, I. Eye socket, right there is the eye socket. A lot of people get confused with the dinosaur skull, thinking this part is the eye, but it's not. It's this part right here. So basically, Eoraptor has large eyes. Basically, no, it's basically to help him hunt. Basically, in the in like in the, in the uh, dusk and even uh, dawn. In dawn, because that's probably when that's basically when uh, predators hunt. But most predators hunt, and uh, and you can and if basically Eoraptor. Uh, would actually be a very primitive dinosaur. He's not really um, an, an advanced dinosaur like some of the raptors, like Utah Raptor, Deinonychus, and Velociraptor, or even some of the Tyrannosaurs like uh, T. Rex, uh, uh, Despletosaurus, and Albertosaurus. But uh, th th because those those dinosaurs are pretty advanced uh, for their time. But uh, if that answers your question, Eoraptor is the oldest dinosaur. But there's another one that's been found that might be older than Eoraptor. I just don't know a lot about that one, so I'll just have to look it up and see what it is. All right, Amanda from Big Lake, Minnesota. What did the crocodile come from? Dinosaurs? No, technically, because because see, crocodiles are actually related to dinosaurs, but they didn't come from dinosaurs. Crocodiles are actually a separate genus from dinosaurs. Because crocodiles are actually, or basically, a separate species from dinosaurs, but they're distinctly related. But because basically, uh, they have the same dinosaurs and crocodiles have the same ancient ancestor that actually it just evolved into two different branches. Basically, one is crocodiles and the other is dinosaurs. But basically, the animals that actually uh, came from dinosaurs are birds, and birds are actually uh, dinosaurs today, and that's what most uh, paleontologists are actually considering that dinosaurs are today, it is basically birds. Birds are dinosaurs, because since they actually have the same features as dinosaurs. But, um, but basically, scientists do study both uh, crocodiles and birds to um, get what the to actually find out what dinosaurs were like, but um, but basically it's birds that are actually the descendants of dinosaurs, not crocodiles. Crocodiles are are very different from dinosaurs. That's that's pretty much how there is. It's basically look if you look at their if you look at the body shape, and also um, uh, if you actually um, look at what their uh, ancient ancestor was, and also some of the, some other differences then we then we can tell apart from dinosaurs and crocodiles but also but basically from basically to get your to get the answer straight right here crocodiles are not from dinosaurs but the dis, distinct really related so that basically answers your question all right Gina from South St. Paul Minnesota how much did the largest and smallest dinosaurs weigh well <clears throat> The largest dinosaur is Argentinosaurus, and base and that's a long-necked dinosaur, which is a sauropod. And the sauropods are actually the largest uh, animals that ever existed uh, on land. And basically, the these dinosaurs weighed like tens of tons. So basically, these are actually dinosaurs that actually are so heavy. They have, they actually have a huge amount of mass. And uh, Argentinosaurus is probably uh, a little bit over 90 tons. If you actually just take 90 times 2,000, you actually get the you actually get the uh, a weight the weight factor. Uh, but as for the smallest dinosaurs, the smallest dinosaurs probably weigh 10 to probably uh, maybe 50 pounds because those are because those are dinosaurs that are pretty small and basically they don't have much mass to move. So base and, but they're pretty fast. And small animals are much faster than uh, larger animals because basically they actually have to because since because since the smaller animals don't have to carry that much mass but the smallest dinosaur uh, that is known so, that is known so far is Micropachycephalosaurus. I know mouthful of a name. All right 
Uh, finally, Mariko from Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. When did dinosaurs go from water to land? Uh, dinosaurs never really came from the water. It's because like the like the movie Fantasia, where we actually see uh, some of the some of those uh, like uh, those uh, odd looking uh, uh, reptiles that actually. Uh, came from the sea and then they actually evolved into dinosaurs that's a big mistake that was a big mistake because basically uh, those are actually marine reptiles those are not dinosaurs because basically dinosaurs are actually land animals they don't actually they don't live in the water because basically uh, dinosaurs are actually more of a they prefer dry they prefer dry areas whereas the marine reptiles we live in the water because basically they actually just live in the water like the plesiosaurs uh the mosasaurs and uh uh some of the, some of the pliosaurs and even the ichthyosaurs the ichthyosaurs ichthyosaurs <laughs> excuse me here if i can actually get my tongue straight here the ichthyosaurs were all marine reptiles and those are actually but they're very different from dinosaurs but they actually lived alongside dinosaurs but they're basically not uh, related to dinosaurs and basically dinosaurs are dry are basically from land marine reptiles ocean all right uh, that's it for right now uh, basically I'll actually uh, give you a notice on Facebook just to let you know uh, when I can actually open the emails uh, and I'll just uh, probably do that tomorrow I'll actually make an announcement tomorrow so um, <clears throat> so if you got a question go to my send me an e send me an email at dinochris71 at gmail.com uh, send me your submit your send me your question and I'll answer it as honestly as I can but keep in mind though keep your question short and to the point it doesn't have to be a, a one sentence type of question just give me just basically just just, uh, just give an explanation if you just have a question you know you know just give me a, just like a, basically if you have a question about some some dinosaur and you just have uh, some question about like its features or how it behaved uh, just uh, let me know and uh, just just uh, keep in mind just keep it just keep it short and to the point and uh, and, and uh, <clears throat> let's just hope uh, that everybody actually take care of uh, all the people around them and uh, hopefully that all you kids out there make sure to listen to your teachers and also listen to your parents and your relatives and your and your close and your relatives to make sure that that, that you to to know that you're getting a good education because those guys are very important into into your motivation and getting a very good education that's all for now and i will see you guys later <laughs>